Welcome back to the DIY Nanny channel. It's been a while. Well, there was a lot going on. A new baby in the family, Christmas, and COVID. Yes, unfortunately, I got the COVID. But I'm all better now, and I'm ready to craft and have some fun and hack this play market. So let's begin. So we got this Melissa and Doug play supermarket from a friend. It was in a pretty good shape and the kids were happy to play with it as is. But I didn't really like the way it looked so I decided I'll give it a little makeover. First thing first I dived into Google Images in search of some inspiration. I always search hacks for the specific piece of furniture I'm going to hack to get inspired and to learn from other DIYers in terms of what materials to use and so on. There was not a lot of Melissa and Doug market hacks out there, but there was a lot of play market ideas that I really loved. I made myself an inspiration board with my favorite finds and a mood board of what I was going for. I decided to go with lighter colors and give it a farmer's market slash an old fashioned deli look. Then I was ready to start. First I cleaned everything out and removed the plastic part so it will be easier to paint. The plastic door was broken so I wasn't going to use it. Also I removed the top sign and just left it as an extra shelf. After I cleaned everything, I used some wood filler to patch up a broken piece and to close the holes I don't need anymore. When it was all dry, I was ready to paint. I started with this 123 primer. I never used it before, but from searching online and watching DIY videos, I figured that's the best way to go with this kind of uh, glossy finish. Now to be honest, it was a bit hard to get to all the inside corners and other hidden places but I didn't have the time to take the whole thing apart and then put it back together. So it was definitely not perfect. I would recommend taking everything apart if you can. The first color I used was called Dolphin Blue by Bear Paint. My plan was to paint only the top with this color, but it was so beautiful that I just needed more of it, so I decided to paint the two top shelves with that color as well. The main color I use is called Bleached Linen, also by Bear Paint. I wanted something bright that will go well with the white play kitchen we have next to the supermarket. Thank you. 
While the paint was drying, I took the plastic parts, a cupcake stand and two plastic balls from the play kitchen and spray painted them with an antique silver spray paint. The next day everything was dry and ready to be put back together. We had these two IKEA baskets still in the package for a while now, so I decided I'll put them to good use and nail them to the front for extra display space. The last thing was making some necessary accessories. I got these bags from Amazon and you can see that they shrink after one wash, which was great for me because I wanted them smaller anyway. I decided to give them a little more shape, so I saw the corners to make it kind of a box shape bag. I just fold it, draw a little triangle and went in with the sewing machine. Uh, one more thing I did was making the handles shorter. I thought it will be easier for the kids to carry around the room and also it will hang better on the side of the supermarket. I figured the easiest way to do it is just fold them and saw, um, so that's what I did. I found this cute design on Cricut Access and one of the kids actually came up with a name for our market. I couldn't change the design so I had to make a box and cut out the word and then make a text box and fit it in the middle. I made four duplicates that fits perfectly into the 12 by 12 Cricut iron-on. Now let me tell you, there was a lot of weeding going on, a lot of small pieces to take out, but eventually it was worth it. So the bags were ready with the bottom I added and the short handles. My design was ready and I was ready. This was the first time I used the Cricut iron on and I did it with my regular household iron because that's what I got. Um, it came out perfectly. I decided to use an extra bag I had to make an apron for whoever is working in the market. I opened the sides of the bag and then cut the top and trimmed the bottom.
Then I hemmed the edges with my sewing machine and added a black ribbon as a strap. And of course, the market logo. I got this cool sign from Michaels a while back and I thought it would be cool for the kids to play around with the letters. That's it! After painting and spraying and weeding, it was finally done! And before I show you the end result, let's just remember for a second where we started. I am so happy with how this market turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. If you liked my video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you on my next video.